Lightning type Pokemon are known for their speed and agility in battle, like Regilecki here, who is the fastest Pokemon ever discovered in the Pokemon universe. Then why does it have a retreat cost of two? Lackluster retreat cost aside, Regilecki has got a very powerful attack, Terra Spark, which does 120 damage to the defending Pokemon and 40 damage to two of your opponent's bench Pokemon. This attack can completely wreak havoc on an unprepared board state and is very good in Gym Leader Challenge format. Now, if you're new to Gym Leader Challenge format, don't sweat it. It's really easy to get into, the games are a lot of fun, and the decks are very affordable. There's just a couple rules to keep in mind when building a Gym Leader Challenge deck. First of all, it's a singleton format, so you can only play one of each card in your deck except basic energy. It's also a mono type format, so you can only play one type of Pokemon in your deck. So you have to pick your favorite type, fire, water, or in this case, lightning. And then finally, there are no rule box Pokemon allowed in Gym Leader Challenge format. So no overpowered Pokemon GX, V, VMAX, or anything like that. And the results are amazing. Make sure to tell your friends about Gym Leader Challenge format. And if you want to read up on the rules, make sure to check out GymLeaderChallenge.com. If you're looking for games or other players to play Gym Leader Challenge format against, make sure to join the Tricky Gym Discord. The link is in the description below. Now, let's check out that Reggie Lecky Lightning Deck. Regilecki's Terra Spark attack is pretty expensive. It costs two lightning and a colorless and requires that you discard all lightning energy attached to Regilecki. But if you consider the fact that you're gonna be dumping 200 damage onto your opponent's board with Terra Spark, it's definitely worth it. We just gotta build the deck with Terra Spark in mind. To help us power up Regilecki, we play both Flaffy and Electric with their Dynamotor abilities, which allow you to attach a Lightning Energy from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon once during your turn. We also play Magnezone with its Magnetic Circuit ability, which allows you to rain as many Lightning Energy from your hand to your Pokemon in play as you like during your turn. To help us draw cards, we play Electrode with its Magnetic Draw ability, which allows you to fill your hand to four cards once during your turn, as well as Zeb Strika with its Sprint ability, which requires that you discard your hand, but when you do, you get to draw four cards. Now, Regilecki spreads a lot of damage onto your opponent's board, but it doesn't always take perfect knockouts on the bench. To help us clean up Pokemon that Regilecki softened up with Terra Spark, we play both Tapu Koko with its Flying Flip attack, which does 20 damage to all of your opponent's Pokemon, and Alolan Raichu, my favorite way to close out games with this deck. Its Electro Rain attack requires that you discard any amount of lightning energy as you want from Alolan Raichu, but for each lightning energy you discard, you get to do 30 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. So this is a crazy attack that can completely wipe your opponent's board at the end of the game and easy to power up with Flaffy or Electric or even Magnezone. Check out this deck in action and let me know what you think of Regilecki and uh, all these other guys in the comments below. See, like going first here, I guess I actually have the term. <laughs> This is pretty cool. Stormy Mountains, go get Tapu Koko. Electrode, nah, we get Voltorb. Okay. We get Voltorb. And then we just hope it sticks around for another turn. That's fine, pass. If Tankman's got the turn one welder double fire high pressure blast, I'm going to freak out. So that better not happen. All right, Bridget, that's cool. I can deal with that. It is going to be probably the turn one flare starter, though. The cast form having free retreat, that is super good. It gives you another out to a turn one flare starter, which is pretty insane. So they could just go get Volcanion, attach a fire, power up that cast form. So long as I get to keep my... I'll be stoked so long as I get to keep my... Uh... <clears throat> so long as I get to keep my stadium, that'd be great. Because then I can Stormy Mountains for the Tapu Koko, Tate and Liza for the Switch, Electrode Draw, and... Still use Thunderous Assaults, which is really good. 
Yeah, Zeno, I think that the turn that you gusted, there might have been a turn where you gusted that you maybe shouldn't have. But yeah, there's so much to learn. I mean, there's so many different turns and so many different things that that can go wrong, right? All right, so going for the power up of the Rush Ram. This actually needs discard stadium play. Cool. Got Cynthia and Caitlyn. That's nice. We're going to use... Got Electrode. I can just Tate and Liza. Like, this hand is not great. I could Tate and Liza for the Switch, but what, to do 80? Like, who cares? Let's just Tate and Liza. Shuffle draw five. Yeah, see, this was a better play. And then I get to go get Stormy Mountains for Tapu Koko. He's got the free retreats. Nest Ball for. We got Yeal in the deck. Okay. Potentially should have gone Magnemite if Magnemite was in there. Yeah, I'm routing this like a absolute garbage. Okay, Magnemite's prize. Good to know. All right. It's fine. Magnemite's prize, so it's redeemable. Nice. We got Blitzel. And then give me the old Thunderous Assault. That's cool. So we're going to ditch these things. I can just revive the Zapdos, bring it back, do it again. That's fine. Tankman is getting the Arcanine set up. That's always a little bit intimidating, right? But we're doing what we need to do on our side of things. Um, I am, you know, only rocking with a draw of two right now off the Electrode. Uh, the Zep Striker is slightly better. Oh, yes. Yeah, Zenu, the turn you didn't use Hex again. Yeah, you could have double Hexed. That would, I think, I just would have lost the game. All right, Arcanine here, breaks in here. Lots of setup on Tankman's side. Boss up my Blitzel. That's fine. High Heat Blast is fine. Just revive it back. It's not a big deal. Send up Coco. And nice, we've got Juniper off the top. So we'll revive the Blitzel, send that back to the bench, and then just... Do I want a Magnetic Draw? I could draw into some resources that I don't want to get rid of. So I think we're just good to Juniper. And then I also think I want to Stormy Mountains first. And we're going to probably grab the Mareep. And we'll hope that I find Flaffy off my prizes, probably. This thing's only got 40 hit points left. So, I mean... Mareep is cool. Yeah. I mean, it's just a good card regardless. I'm probably not powering up the Regilecki anytime. Well, you don't want to say that because I could start powering up the Regilecki now because I've already got enough energy on the Zapdos. So we'll just do that, Juniper. And then we go Speed Lightning. I've already got Timer Ball. That's awesome. Love Timer Ball. Broken card. Y'all are haters. Okay. Get this guy. And then quick ball away the lightning energy. Go get this guy. Speed lightning to the Regilecki. Cool. Dynamotor to the Regilecki. And take the knockout with Zapdos. You know, Zapdos, he get in there, right? He's just like your guy. Nice, we found him. He's your guy. Start the game off. And can take those early prizes. Keep the pressure on while you're setting up your board. Because we have one of the... Yeah, we have one of the strongest late games out of any deck. Right? Being able to... Being able to just board wipe with our crazy spread attacks... 
just pumping out Te Terra Spark with Regilecki every turn with the draw power that Lightning has. I do think that Regilecki like really kind of makes makes Lightning, you know, a, a really good archetype. Because it's just not very hard to power it up. And you're dealing with, I mean, that's basically 200 damage to the board, right? 120, 40, 40. Uh, every deck plays support Pokemon. That's eventually going to get there. Flying Flip can kind of clean up all the, if you get just a little bit short, Flying Flip is there. <coughs> The meme heat more. This is not the meme. Listen. The tag bolt heat more is not a meme, dude. It is not a meme. That thing is great. <clears throat> Absolutely busted. It's so strong. All right. So Tankman does have the Del Fox set up now. Going to be drawing more cards, but like I said, no Embor. You're just making it so you have to draw into Welder, Blacksmith, Raihan every turn. And if you don't, you see what I'm saying? Embor is cracked, dude. You got to play Embor. Now look. No Embor. You're cooked. You're absolutely cooked. Let's see. We want to... Yeah. You hate to put Floatstone on Zapdos, but that's just what we got going on right now. Electropower. Hex. Just so happens my hand is cracked. <laughs> Terra Spark. And we're going to soften up. Um, ya boy... Cast form and eh, Arcanine and Del Fox. That's what we got. Cool. We'll do that. So good, right? And we got Magnemites. Nice. Flappy, Mareep in the hand. Vulcaner, great for next turn. Marnie as well. Oh, they have the Blacksmith now. Okay. Dang, bro. You hate to see it. That's fine. With no draw. Cool. So he goes down. Then he's got 100 hit points left. Powers up the Entei. We'll send up Coco and say, all right, it's time to... You know, Tankman's a huge hex hater. Huge hex hater. Um, let's do... So we're four to four prizes, right? Yeah. I can't possibly knock out the Arcanine this turn. That's fine. So we're just going to soften it up. And then... Yeah, that's cool. And there's good cards further along in my deck. So we'll put that down. We'll... Do I want a Volkner? Potentially. Get Volkner in the following turn. Um, do I want to Volkner? Volkner could get me the rescue stretcher that I need for Regilecki. So that's fine. Let's do it. Could also get me a, re you know, if I, I do want to hit into the Arcanine. So that's fine. So let's do Rescue Stretcher 
and lightning energy. We're just preparing our board for next turn. And then we'll just do that. It's fine, Thunder Salt. And then now this thing has got just 20 hit points left. I mean, I can flying flip it next turn too, which maybe I should have just attached the energy because I, you know, flying flip will clean up the Arcanine. So potentially should have just done that. Potentially. I mean, I've got a guaranteed flying flip next turn if I really decide that I want it. But that's okay. So, because I could just attach to the electrode and then double dynamotor. But I know that I wanted the rescue stretcher for the Regilecki. Like, we already know that. So that seemed like a fine play. And I also already had the Flappy in hand for the dynamotor, you know, to evolve next turn, which is why I decided to Volkner instead of and there wasn't, like, a great supporter back to pull with Cynthia and Caitlyn. Uh, there was Hex, but that's fine. And then... And Trevor says that his game is freezing. No, Trevor, we've got a really close game here, man. Come on, Trevor's internet. Pull through. All right, we've got the wishful baton. It's fine. Still have field blower in the deck. Heat fire energy to that guy. Eric's hospitality for six. That's insane amounts of draw. Glad I got the Marnie for next turn. Most definitely. So we either go for flying flip, right? Which is like fine. Maybe I just go for the flying flip. Or. Because Flying Flip takes a guaranteed knockout, softens up everything else, which is, like, really good, right? Mag Cargo's prized. Guzma's prized. Okay. And then... I mean, the cast form could lose Trevor the game. That's a possibility. Got to take a look at what my Raichu situation is. Power up the heat more. Okay. So... Do I want to just Terra Spark this turn? Potentially. I mean, Terra Spark. And then if I find the escape rope, like Terra Spark's kind of insane. I think I don't want to forfeit an extra energy attachment. So we'll do this. That's fine. And then we evolve this guy. Rescue Stretcher, grab Regilecki back, slap him down, go here, Marnie, look for escape rope, we're not finding it, or anything for that matter, but it's cool. Yeah, they grab the mag cargo. Still fine. Retreat. And then we go. Terra Spark for knockout. Um, yeah, ping these guys. Okay. And we take our prize. We go three to three. It's fine. There's Raikou. Raikou's huge, bro. He's freaking huge. There's no way he's got enough gas to be able to knock out a Raikou. He's gigantic. So, that's interesting. <clears throat> Heatmore can come up. Knock out my guy. Then... The problem is, is that I don't actually... I should have chosen either Electrode or Blitzel, right? Because I'm not going to have enough room to set up my Alolan Raichu, which is like my checkmate kind of situation, right? So potentially, I need to do that. I need to think 
Is it time to just flying flip? It might just be time to flying flip set up set up Pikachu, right? And then I have to take three prizes in my final turn. So I have to see if that's possible. We've got 30 here. We've got potentially 50 here if he evolves it. Right? So that's one, two, three. So I'm probably not going to be able to. Culver's for 10. This thing's definitely getting involved. So there's not going to be any point in using N. N is kind of worthless. I do have a net. Yes, yeah, so we could find it. So I just have not found it yet. Fury Belt. I do have Field Blower in the deck. All right, here comes Ente. Rally back. Fine. 120. So... I think we just want to go for, oh, my goodness. If I find, they did not find the Meg Cargo off the Culver's for 10. That's insane. So if I can just get myself, I have to just get Reggie Lecky back. All right, it's going to be a little bit tough. This is a situation where you wish it was Ordinary Rod instead, right? But that's okay. So I have to find it off of Cynthia. Okay. Yeah. We're chilling. So we go Evo Soda. Zebra. Field Blower. Away these. And then I'm setting up checkmate right now. Ultra Ball. Away. Oh, a letter. Letter. Grab these. Ultra Ball away these. Get Reggie Lecky. Reggie Lecky down here. Magnetic draw. Broken deck. Dynamotor. Dynamotor. And then retreat. Terra Spark. Take two prizes. And then I flying flip the Entei for game or whatever. Just tap it, you know? There we go. Scoop up net found. And we've got Flying Flip on board with Double Dynamotor for game on the Entei. Now, isn't that exciting? I mean, that's what I'm talking about. That's Pokemon cards right there. <laughs> this has been a really close game. And don't get it twisted. When when Trevor Colrus for 10 and whiffed that and whiffed the Meg Cargo. That was like, that was so big, right? That was so big. And then when I found, when I found the field blower and the ultra ball off of that Cynthia for six and the Evo, I mean, like I drew into like so many good cards there. But the thing is, is that my deck is pretty thin. The fact that I hadn't found the Zeb Striker earlier was like kind of criminal, you know? I'd had that Blitzel down the entire game, just like, all right, dude, where is it? Resets, reset stamp switch Hexmaniac. Oh, my gosh. Trevor doesn't play Hexmaniac. He's a hater. No. That's the one thing. You can always plan on Trevor never Hexmaniacing you because Trevor doesn't like Hexmaniac. Trevor said in the middle of our game it's a dead card, but now Hex is the card that could win him this game, right? But he doesn't play it. Yeah, that's true. If uh, even if Trevor did find the, uh, if Trevor did find the Meg Cargo, then Flying Flip would have taken a double knockout on those guys. And that is GGs, Trevor. GGs. All right, we promote Tapu Coco. And we've got the Raihan.
Lightning. Slugma was a huge throw. <laughs> but that's it. That's the thing. Slugma was a huge throw, but that's like... It's like you get punished for, you know, for every little thing. Every little thing. And that makes the game so much more rewarding to play. You know, Trevor realized, like, if I just hadn't put that slugma down, right? <laughs> oh, man. GG's, Trevor. GG's. And that's it for the Lightning Deck. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash trickygym, where I stream live Pokemon trading card game content just like this every single weekday. And you all have an awesome day. Peace.